Hey, Shalom, Shalom, what's going on? This is Dennis Yehuasai Delamar, and I'm here to talk about a serious uh, matter, as you have seen on the title, um, Hebrew Nation Building or Rebirth Exposed a Den of Demons. So we're going to dive in, man. It's, it's a serious topic that's happening amongst Yisrael, um, happening amongst people in Yahuwah, and people that have the name of Yahuwah in their mouth, but they are far from him and they are not of him. And so, uh, so yeah, man, I'm gonna dive into it. And you know how we do when sometimes we talk about this, this is not a specific truth podcast. This is just kind of urgent message, <laughs> an urgent message to come and talk about this thing because, uh, and I'm gonna give you my background. I'm gonna give you all that. Please stay to the end of the video. Also, before we start, Hey, if you, um, were part of Hebrew Nation Building a Rebirth, and um, you like to share your stories, you are welcome to share the story. I want this video to be a a, a log, a record, um, as uh, we call heaven uh, and earth to 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 bear record of what uh, we're about to go over. You know, I have some notes, but as the Ruach Hakodesh leads me, you know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm gonna go on that. Uh, so, but but feel free to put your stories in the comments, share this video. Stay to the end of this video. I don't know how long it'll be. We just starting out, right? Uh, but share the video, take it in parts if you have to, because it is it is going to um, um, blow the cover off the Hebrew Nation building, and and it's and it's more, and this is, and and I know that if you went there, you have stories and firsthand stories. These are the things that Yahuwah has given me concerning this matter. So let's dive in. I'm going to start with a couple of scriptures to kind of set the tone about what we're talking about. So the title is, as it says, the Hebrew nation building rebirth exposed a den of demons. You read that right. So let's, so let's look at some fundamental scriptures that we're going to talk about first. We're going to go to uh, Timothy and I'll be posting stuff. I'll be posting pictures and stuff on the screen. So, you know, you ain't got to see my face all the time. Second Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 9 but know this that in the last days hard times shall come for men shall be lovers of self lovers of silver boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents thankless wrongdoers unloving unforgiving slanderers without self-control fierce haters of good betrayers reckless puffed up, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of allure, having a form of reverence, but denying its power. Turn away from these. For among them are those who creep into households and captivate silly women loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. This is going to be very important, the knowledge of the truth. Right. But they shall go no further for their folly shall be obvious to all. As that of those men become. Right. I mean, we, I mean, it's just hidden. These are some scriptures that Jehovah was giving me to to, to kind of set the tone and, and, and go on. And I got a couple of them so stay with me because uh, it's really setting the tone. I mean, you, you had that thing in there about. All, all the sins that's going to be happening, you know, having a form of reverence, but denying his power, you know, captivating silly women, creeping into households, breaking families, you know what I'm saying? Like all this stuff. It's right here. Now let's go to sec, what is second Timothy. So like a sec, second Timothy four and verse three to four, right? So we're going to go in this. For there shall come a time when they shall not bear sound teaching. But according to their own desires, they shall heap up for themselves teachers tickling the ear. And then it says, and they shall indeed turn away their ears from the truth and shall turn aside to myths. So if you're watching this video, like I said, I'm going through, I'm going through some of these scriptures that Yahuwah would give me because we're going to come back to these scriptures, y'all willing, but it's setting the tone. It's setting the tone. When you think about that, when you think about you know, I know you that have been in Hebrew uh, 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 nation building, um, rebirth, 
know about this, but people that don't know about this, um, you, you need to be aware. I mean, it's bad. I was just talking to my wife. We was talking about it. Just pause on a second. Is Israelites looking real bad? Yo, Israelites looking real bad, bro. Real bad. If somebody's a Christian and they like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they look over there and be like, yo, y'all look real, y'all look real cultish. You see what I'm saying? Because the, you know, I gotta say, we gotta say it. The major, the majority of what is promoted out there concerning Israel, Israelites, looks looks cultish. It looks like some Jim Jones, some Harold Camping, some you know people that lost their mind, going back to ancient, uh, ancient. Ancient Israel, wilding out. It's crazy, man. It's 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 it's, it's terrible, man. It, 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 you know, Yahuwah really. Um, and I'm gonna get into my testimony. I'm, I'm I'm gonna get into my testimony in a second, and and, and and why we're even doing this, right? But we got to set the tone, okay? So, um, Revelations. I always put the <laughs> we always put the S over there, right? <laughs> I'm talking about black folks. We always put the S over there. Revelation, right? Um, 2 and 20. But I hold this against you that you allow that woman, as Isabel, right? Who called her herself a prophetess to teach and to lead my servants astray. Commit whoring and eat food sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent for her whoring. And she did not repent. See, I am throwing her into her sickbed and those who commit whoring with her into great affliction. Unless they repent from their works. This is a word. This is a word to Hebrew nation building rebirth. I am throwing her into a sickbed and those who commit whoring, those who commit adultery with her into great affliction unless they repent from their works. And I shall slay her children with death. And all the assembly shall know that I am the one searching the kidneys and hearts. And I shall give each according to his works. Right? So we always talk about on this channel, First John four one. I mean, one of my one of my favorites. Uh, we we you know we we always talk about um, the test of spirit because you know I've had you know when we put this up on Facebook you know when who was giving this uh, people say whoa what happened what happened what what they do show me the evidence how you gonna bring you know you know how you gonna bring something against the elders <laughs> you know what I'm saying show me the evidence. Where's the evidence at? The evidence is there. Beloved ones, do not believe every spirit, but prove the spirits, whether they are of a lure. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this, by this, you know the spirit of a lure. Every spirit that confesses that Yahushua Messiah has come in the flesh is of a lure. And you know we're gonna we're gonna build off we're gonna build off that right, and the other two scriptures I had you know how you know um, Shatan masquerades like a messenger of light, and we got another one that we'll talk about. All right, so let's dive into it. I know I just we had to, we had to get the scriptures because that's 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 the basis, the basis. Those scriptures are important, and we'll come back to them, y'all willing, as we build. So why so why am I doing this video? I didn't go to rebirth. Uh, I never been associated with rebirth. Um, maybe a while back. It was a, it was a while back, some years back. I came across rebirth on the internet. Okay, wow. Okay, assembly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you who? Okay, you know what I'm saying? I was never never moved to reach out or in in a sense of uh, connect or anything like that. Honestly, it was always something. It was just like from the moment, just kind of seeing him, it was just like, 
I was like, eh, it's some just weirdness. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. It's just weird. But in my mind, I was like, well, but if, if it's of Yahuwah, hallelujah. If it's not, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it was, right? So let me let me let me show you how uh uh and talk about how I got involved into this situation. So um so one day I had unprovoked, like I, like I said, I wasn't a, a, a follower of rebirth. I wasn't hurt by rebirth uh, in a sense of going there and they did something to me. Um, nobody never did nothing directly to me uh, from rebirth. So this is this is this is coming from what Yahuwah has put on my heart to share um, and giving me to share. So, so one day I had a, I had a um, dream and, uh, and like I said, I wasn't even thinking about rebirth. I wasn't even like on their top. Like, oh, I, like I said, I always wonder what they own, man. Cause I don't, I just don't know. It was just, it was just, you know what I'm saying? I would see it on the internet, come across it. I don't know what they own. And I don't know how long ago this was. It was maybe like, I want to say within, within two years. Right. So I had this dream and Morris Williams, Morris Williams, uh, uh, the leader, you know, um, of rebirth along with Joshua Cullens. Uh, I hear him in the dream teaching, he's teaching a lesson and I don't, you know, I can't recall what he's actually teaching. And then I hear the voice of Yahushua say, say, they are preserving the seed of the wicked. They are preserving the seed of the wicked. That's exactly what I heard Yahushua say. And it was very clear. It was like, like Yahuwah downloads stuff to me. You know what I'm saying? And like Yahushua moves me, you know what I'm saying? It speaks through me. But it's but it's not oftentimes where like you hear that voice. Like that voice, like that voice. Like, oh, that was Yahuwah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Yahuwah sent this through you know, Yahushua, you know what I'm saying? And it's serious. And, and, and in my experience, you know, because I talked to somebody, they was like, well, you know, we can't be, maybe people be saying, you know, all type of stuff about dreams and all this stuff. And I'm here to be a witness. Every time when that, when I heard Yahuwah speak about a leader, well, about anything, but particularly about a leader, I have never seen it not be fulfilled. Every single time Yahuwah has spoken concerning a leader to me, it was always validated. And it wasn't a forced validation. It wasn't, I mean, I, I, I can't make that up. I can't make, oh, they preserving the seed of the world. I didn't even know what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, I was just like, bystander you know what i'm saying I, I couldn't figure it out i was like well hey you know and then after after i received that word and i woke up i was like honey for zero in the seat of the wicked what is that you know what i'm saying i was like what is that you like and sometimes you know you drops drop something he'll say something and, and 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 you know it's not immediately um given what the interpretation of the word is I didn't understand it until, until, um, I believe I was, yeah, it, yeah. I didn't understand it until it was a video that they came out with. And in this video, right. And I'm a, I'm gonna pull it up because like I said, I have a lot of different notes and, and different things in different places, but you can see here, they did this video. You had this guy, um, you had this guy right here say that Yahushua is the father. That's what he said. You can go look the video up. The video's still up. If it's still up, you can go look at it. Right? That's what he said. He said Yahushua is the father. Now, as soon as I seen that, Yahuwah was like, hey, that's 
what I'm talking about. They are preserving the seed of the wicked. Right? He started, he started breaking it down to me, right? Now, remember what we just read. It said, every spirit that confesses that Yahushua has come in the flesh is of a lure. And every spirit that does not confess that Yahushua has come in the flesh is not of a lure. And this is the spirit of the anti-Messiah, which you have heard is coming and is now already in the world. So I heard that confession because when people believe that, as you know, if you've been on this channel enough, if people believe that Yahushua is the father, Abba Yahuwah, then you can't believe that Yahushua came in the flesh. Because Yahushua is the bond of Alua. It said Yahushua. It said right here. Every spirit that confesses that Yahushua came in the flesh. Because Yahushua is, we know, Matthew 16, 16. Kepha confesses, you are the Mashiach, the bond of the living Alua. The bond, the offspring, the brought forth one from the beginning. Genesis 1, 1, in the beginning Alua bara the elephant tie. Revelations chapter one. Yahushua says he is the elephant tie. He is the firstborn of all creation. He was the first bar fourth one. There was not there, there, there uh, it was only the father who was unbegotten, and at a certain time, Yahushua uh, is brought forth by Abba Yahuwah through his hakma or quote unquote wisdom. And Yahushua existed. And through him and by him all these things were created. First Colossians chapter one, right? You can read that in 15 and 16. Every spirit that does not confess that Yahushua came in the flesh, Yahushua of Nazareth, the Mashiach, right, is not of Alua. So when you when I heard that, I was like, oh, that spirit is not of Alua. Now, there's another, there's a, and then, and then there was another teacher that confessed a similar thing. So I said, hold on, this is not a fluke. And going back to this, uh, uh, um, uh, Malak Abaya, Malak Abaya, we're going to be talking about him in a second. We're going to be talking about Malak Abaya and, and we're going to see some things going through this thing. Cause you got to stay with me, man. Cause it's, 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 a, it's a lot to unpack. And I mean, it's, and this is, and this ain't even. We we just we just kicking the ball. <laughs> we kicking the ball. We rolled the ball off. You know what I'm saying? It's more than that. But Malak Abaya, he's the one that confessed it. And just to be real with you, just starting off, and we keep it real, keep it real. There is a homosexual spirit on this guy. I mean, you can see how he moves, how he talks, the feminine, the feminine uh, 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 mannerisms that he has. Um. He doesn't confess that Yahushua came in the flesh. Then another teacher, this guy, he, he doesn't confess that Yahushua came in the flesh. So this is thing is like, huh, okay. Because here's the thing. Remember, what, what, did, we, what did we read? We just read uh, 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 um, Timothy. And Timothy says, they're never, they're, they're always learning but never, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Who is the truth? Yahushua. So they're never able to come to the revelation of Yahushua because they're always learning because they have those sins and Yahuwah has hidden those matters from the wise and prudent, but revealed those unto babes. So they're not able to receive the knowledge of who Yahushua is. So you got that confession, right? Those two confessions. And Yahuwah was like, that's it. And then Yahuwah further explained what he meant concerning they are pres preserving the seed of the wicked. Yahuwah was like, in, in, in other words, they are a net. They are a net that's capturing the people that are straying from Yahuwah. Everybody that is straying from Yahuwah is, is, is attracted to that spirit that is moving in that ministry. Because Yahuwah has said in, I believe it's, I believe it's Kepha. 
And then Yahuwah knows how to rescue the reverend ones from trial and to keep the unrighteous until the day of judgment to be punished. So we also know in Deuteronomy, we also know in Deuteronomy that Yahuwah said if a false prophet arises and say something that's true, right? I'm paraphrasing this. He's testing the people. Yahuwah is testing the people, right? So if he let a false prophet rise up, if he let him rise up, right? Just like, you know, Joshua Cullins and, and, and Maurice Williams and everybody that's under them, they're false prophets. I'm just saying that plainly. They're false prophets. And I want to make this clear. They are not with Yahuwah. They are not with Yahuwah. Matter of fact, uh, let's, go to, let's go to that Matthew. Let's go to that Matthew because I got this scripture this morning. They are not with Yahuwah. And we're going to show you who they with in, in, a, in a moment, right? They are not with Yahuwah at all. Yahuwah doesn't know them. Because what did Yahushua say? Verse Matthew 16, verse uh, Matthew 7, verse 16. By their fruits you shall know them. By their fruits, whatever they're saying out their they mouths, coming out their heart, and their works, you're going to know. Are grapes gathered from thorn, thorn bushes? Are figs from thistles? Every, so every good tree yields good fruit, but a rotten tree yields wicked fruit. A good tree is, uh, is unable to yield wicked fruit, and a rotten tree uh, to yield good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Right? So we And I'm going to leave that open because we're going to come back to that. So also in, in Deuteronomy chapter 13, it says if somebody is going to come up and rise up to, to, to draw people away from Yahuwah, they were supposed to get stoned to death. I don't care if it was your brother, your mother, your, your wife. No pity. No pity. So don't come on this comments. Don't come on the thread talking about that old sympathy stuff. Don't come, don't come on there playing the violin, right? Don't come in there playing the violin in your com in the comments, right? Because these people are imposters. They are of Shatan. Right? This is what it is. Yahuwah was very specific. He said they are preserving the seed of the wicked. They are capturing people that are straying. And hallelujah, there are some people that have, have, have came back to Yahuwah. But they are capturing people that are straying from Yahuwah. And I have a story that I'm going to tell you about me seeing that firsthand and witnessing that. That proves, that confirms what Yahuwah said. They are preserving the seed of the wicked. They are capturing people. Shatan has ha has them in place in order to be a, a, a net to 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 take people's salvation, to steal people's purpose and calling, to just jam up their whole life, to destroy their faith. They are they are mine. This is what that ministry is set up to do. Right. So, yeah. So those two, you had those two confessions. You know, you had the ten. Uh, you know, I got the timestamps on the, on there and everything. You have that going on, right? Now, let me give you a per personal uh, 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 thing about. Okay, so when Yahuwah revealed that that video, right? I was like, wow. Okay, I didn't I didn't suspect that. And when you look at Joshua Cullens and and and, and Maurice Williams, um. They're very shifty. They're very, they're very shifty. I, I want to say like a chameleon spirit because I, I actually got to talk to Morris one time and I talked about some things that were concerning me, and it's like, it's like a, a, a false thing. Like, no, everything is right. Oh, everything is okay, brother. You know, no, no, it's, 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 it's not okay. They're liars. They're false prophets. Now let's get back to the story. So. So that was that. That happened. I was like, whoa. Okay, so that spirit is not of Alua. They don't believe. Now, when I say this, you're going to be like, what? They don't believe in Yahushua at all. You'll be like, what did they say? They, they say. People can say a lot with their mouth. Yahuwah says, these people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They don't know him. 
They don't know him. Right? Like, Yahuwah is not dealing with them. Now, what does it say right here? Yahushua said this. He said, not everyone who says to me, master, master, shall enter the reign of the heavens, but he who is doing the desire of my father in the heavens. Many shall say to me in that day, master, master, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name and done these mighty works in your name? And then he shall declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work lawlessness. So just because they got Yahuwah in their mouth, just because they got Yahushua in their mouth, that don't mean they know. They are blaspheming the name of Yahuwah. They are breaking the commandment that says, you shall not bring Yahuwah's name to naught. Make it common. Make it useless. That's what they're doing. Back to the story, right? So, uh, so I became friends with Brit Yah and Stefan. So we were chopping it up for, 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 uh, you know, here and there. And then, you know, come to find out, you know, uh, they were living in Southern California. Um, and, um, you know, we, we originally, um, went to me and my wife, we went to a uh, fellowship with them and uh, me and Stefan, we had a relationship. We would talk, talk on the phone. You know, he would ask questions. Sometimes we would talk about different stuff. And, um, and I always sensed that, um, in his spirit, it was like a, like he wanted to challenge different things in the sense of like challenge the word of Yahuwah. It's like those people that, um, they want to just, be a devil's advocate type of person, you know? And, um, we went to fellowship with them. And the, the wild thing was when we, when we went to fellowship with them, like my, 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 my son at the time, he, 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 my bond, <laughs> he was really like, cause he was just starting to learn about people and get out and stuff. But he really did not like Steph. <laughs> he really did not like Stephanie. He just was like, he was just screaming. And like, we went to the house, he was screaming and hollering. And it was just, we had to try to calm him down when he was seeing him. But we went, we went there and uh, we, we, we were talking. And I think I was talking about the, the whole, you know, the whole sunrise. Because you got people that do um, Shabbat on sunrise to sunrise or sunrise or sunset. Now, I'm telling you, praise Yahuwah. Like, Yahuwah has kept me in the walk since 2009, right? And I've seen that 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 doctrine, that is a dangerous... I've seen many people get that doctrine and just, just it just, like, it's just like, it's just like an open doorway for the devil. And just more and more and more wicked stuff just starts coming. But basically, they because we were talking and I was like, yeah, man, it's just crazy because... Um, you know, we were talking about we got we got on that subject, and my wife didn't know that they was he he revealed to us that he was on that sh that Shabbat thing, and I was like, wow, I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? It was a kind of surprise to us, and we kind of got into the scriptures, and we was trying I was trying to we were trying to reason together like, hey, I, this is not you know, there's witnesses, and all that, and it was just like, it was just a battle, right? And we were, you know, we were shooting the music. I shot a music video for um, Britya, um, Two Paths. And um, during the video shoot, it was weird stuff that was happening because, you know, if you watch the Two Paths video, if you know, know about Britya, that she she talks about her journey. But what was, what was weird is that Stefan knew more about her journey than her than she did, which was very weird. You know what I'm saying? Like someone not being able to, if you deliver from homosexuality and all these things that you, you, you should know your journey. Like you should know your testimony. Um, and it's, and it seemed like she didn't have a command of her testimony. And I was suggesting things 
um, because as a director, you know, you're trying to pull certain emotions out of out of people to connect with the content of what they're saying. And she didn't connect with the content. I saw that that it was like a disconnect from what she was saying on the record uh, versus and, and we had and it literally we had a we had a dispute because I saw, you know, I, I was seeing a, a, a vision of like how it's supposed to be. And uh, basically, in long story short. Yahoo was dealing with them and Stefan. I remember Stefan. Remember talking to Stefan to have a conversations and we were talking about Yahoo was dealing with him to repent concerning some things with his, uh, you know, his parents. Um, I believe his father or stepfather, uh, to be particular, and Yahoo was dealing with also uh, uh, Brit Yard too. There was de he was dealing with him on that doctrine on those false doctrines they had, but also. He was dealing with him concerning uh concerning um just repentance because you know like if 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 you went through the work of repentance to become a new creature, you know, Yahuwah brings up a lot of a lot of stuff. He brings up, you know, hey, remember your moms, <laughs> you know, remember you was five, remember you was seven and that you remember when the person said, you know, saying, remember when you watched that tape, remember when, you know what I'm saying, like you and it's just not, oh, I'm sorry. Like, you who want to break it down like, like you know, like a counselor, man, and really give you give you the background and everything so you can get healed. You know what I'm saying? Not just, it's, it's, it's not just a forgiving thing. It's, 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 a, it's a healing thing. And, and he, he, he opens it up. So that was that. Right? Um, so... So I, so they like I said they were living close they were living like an hour like an hour or so hour maybe hour and a half traffic from us and I thought we was gonna like be building this stuff so come to find out you know Sukkot happens this is Sukkot 2023 happens and and uh, they go out to do Pesach out somewhere and uh, somewhere in Cali and um, my aunt who will bear witness to this I'm like I said I'm I'm opening the books. I'm opening the books. I'm I'm, I'm letting y'all know what it is because it's 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 before the it's before the nation, you know. You who are just I'm not hiding hiding the council. It's just it's just it, it is what it is. So my I he calls me. He was like, yeah, you know, I, I know you cool with Ock and everything. He said they going to rebirth. I was like, rebirth. They going to rebirth. And. And so, uh, uh, cause like I said, me and Stefan was, was, we wasn't like tight as, you know, tight, like, you know, best homies, but we were, we were tight. We, we would, he would, you know, he would chop it up and I was like, why, why would they? And so when I picked up the phone and, and, and talked to him, they was actually, you know, they was actually, next time I talked to him, they was actually on their way to rebirth. And I had already previously, uh, you know, Talked about certain things, and then on the phone, I said, "Ah, you going to rebirth?" I said, "You know, you who get sent that word that they um they are preserving the seed of the wicked." I said, "How you gonna, why you gonna put yourself in that predicament?" And you who uh was giving me a number of things to say to him that they should turn around, like you know, even in the, in the midst of you know them going, because there's no guarantee that they're gonna come back from that. And they was just determined. They was just determined. Rebirth, he said they're doing the work. And when I talked to him, I said, you know, what do you want? I, and what he said he wanted uh, um, ascension. You know, I don't know if that was that conversation or another conversation. But long story short, they ended up going, right? So a few days ago, they, and after that, after when, after they went to rebirth, we, we didn't hear from them. Right, we didn't hear from them no more, and then you know for a couple months, uh, and then they popped up with this video where Brit Yah is talking about she repented and all this other stuff. And when I listened to the video, when I turned the video on, the ruach wasn't stirring on me that it was true. I was like, nah, I, I don't think it's true. You know what I'm saying? Because you, 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 you wronged your brothers. And sister, you and Stefan, and, and he said nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, I forget, you know, I did this and the pride and all that stuff. And it's like it's like one of those things where people want to be general about their repentance. But when Yahuwah is calling you to repentance, he going to tell you exactly what you did. Hey, remember when you cussed that person? Hey, man, go, hey, you know what I'm saying? He gonna, remember when you up, you know what I'm saying? He, he very, it's very, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no general situation, right? And then at the end, he said, I, I can, you know, uh, uh, check out Hebrew Nation Building. I really recommend Hebrew Nation Building. This is the video. This is the, this is the thing. And I'm like, what is this, a promo? What the heck is this, bro? And then Stefan, I don't know if the video, here's a screenshot to the video, but he releases a video doing the same exact thing, literally saying the same exact thing like an infomercial. I really recommend you should check out Hebrew Nation Building. She said the same phrase. It's almost like they had a script. You know how you get a script when you call somewhere and you got a script and you got to say the same thing? I'm like, what is, is this the revenge of the body snatchers? Like, what is going on? What the heck is happening? What is happening? So, I think right after that, Yahuwah showed me that, that's why that verse is so powerful in Matthew, because Yahuwah showed me a dream where it was a tree that had, it was huge. It was a big, a huge tree. It was 20 feet something tall in the air. And uh, it had uh, no leaves on it, no fruit on it. And uh, in the dream, I was used to help nurse it. And uh, a huge tree. I mean, 20 something feet in the air. It was huge. It was a huge tree. Uh, tall, you know. and But it had no fruit on it. And it was it was a it was a rope that was that was holding the tree up, some kind of cloth. But I didn't put the cloth on it. But I was just kind of like you know helping do whatever I could do. And I stood I stood maybe you know some fifty yards away from it. I want to say fifty yards. I want to say maybe twenty five to fifty yards. And all of a sudden it was this huge it was this huge gust of wind hit that tree. I mean violently hit that tree. Woof. Um. And this is like I said, this dream is a couple days ago. And uprooted that tree so violently. It was so violent to where, like I said, I was 25 to 25 to 50 yards away. I heard the roots, the roots snap under my feet. That's how violent it was. And it just lifted that tree out the ground and set it on the ground. And uh and it was just sitting there ready to for somebody to come get it, to burn it. And uh, you know, when I woke up, I, I you know came to my mind, I came to, you know, thought about Brit Yah and them. And that's what came to my mind. And uh, and this is what the scripture is talking about. That a, a, a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. So I'm just here to say that I, I didn't believe their repentance wasn't true. It was a performance. It was an offering. It was an offering to the Queen of Heaven in which, which we're going to talk about in a second. Because I know we've been I want I had to give my personal testimony as it regards to this. You know, you may have been skipping through, but uh I had to give my personal testimony as regards to this to show you I've seen basically I've seen somebody that is refusing to repent because that's the that's, you know, I don't I'm not going to say that's the comprehensive definition of the wicked, but somebody that is refusing to repent. And I saw Yahuwah dealing with them, and I saw other. I've seen other people throughout the years that Yahuwah has had me in the truth. Whether they get out the get out the faith or they get in some false doctrine, it's always one common f uh, factor. And is people refusing to repent when Yahuwah is exposing certain things? They are refusing to repent. They're gonna double down on what they what they. I've seen it. With, I've seen it with Prince David. When I knew Prince David in California, I seen Yahuwah dealing with him. Through me, through other people, refusing to repent, and now look at him. He 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 don't even believe in Mashiach now. So, that was that, right? But let, but we about to get into some evidence because, like I said, we ain't even touching the iceberg. We just we 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 kicking the ball off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We kicking the ball off, right? Now, now, now here's the wild part. 
So they just released the video. Now we're getting into now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of we're gonna get to the nitty gritty of what Hebrew Nation Building is doing. The den of demons. We're gonna get into that. So I had to get I had to give you the story. I had to give you the story because I don't wanna I don't wanna uh, uh, minimize that. Is I saw a personal personal brother and sister that I knew go from we fellowshipping to they getting to them not repenting and having false doctrines in their bag and not repenting on things that Yahuwah is trying to Yahuwah is trying to Yahuwah is trying to heal people. Yahusha is trying to heal people. He is trying to set them free from their sin. He came to destroy the works of the devil, which is sin and death. And people are refusing his blood. They are refusing for some, for some fellowship with wicked spirits. All right. So, um, they just released the video. So we about to dive in. Now, the first thing, first thing I want to talk about, because we're gonna break the. Uh, <clears throat> let me let me give you the agenda right here. So we're gonna break down this video to show you, because one thing one thing about being in film production, a lot of times there's stories, right? So the stories tell a story about what's actually happening. So when people People have things, it, like I said, it, it tells a story. That's why people, you go online, you see a video about, you know, Beyonce or whoever, and it's breaking down, like, what she owned and all that stuff. It's because it ain't by happenstance. It ain't by just, like, oh, they just made this video. So we're going to break down the video they just had, they just made, which uh, is called Sounds of Rebirth, March to Zion, right? They just, they just released this video two weeks ago, right? So we're going to break this down. Then we're going to go back to... Uh, m m a lot, and we're gonna show you um, the spirits that they worship. Basically, about to show you what spirit rebirth is worshiping. Because once again, they don't have the testimony of Yahushua. They don't proclaim Yahushua, right? They are worshiping another spirit, right? They are worshiping another spirit. Um, this video right here. Now, I'm going to be real with you. This guy, Maurice Williams, if, if, I, if I took, if, if I showed his picture to some people that I know, you know, maybe in L.A., or people people that I know that's kind of a little, you know what I'm saying, a little, maybe in the streets a little bit, is they would say this dude is, you know, they would use some words, you know, he's a chump. Because you could tell them something. You could, I mean, people have Ruachs, right? People have Ruachs on them. And this dude looks like, on first glance, he looks like a predator, right? And I'm not saying he touched anybody uh, far as children or anything. But I'm saying his his spirit is predatorial. Like, it's, it's a predator spirit. Um, and it reminds me of 2 Timothy where it says that these people creep into households but because they predators bro they, they 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 creep into households um of, of women laid down with laid it down with sin right they are destroying uh, uh, uh families and stuff because they predators it's a, it's a predatory demonic spirit that's on him and even in this picture you can see it you know a cultish now because what what you got to understand is there's cold words in what these demons are doing, because they've been releasing this documentary called uh, "Reclaim the Throne," right? Reclaim the throne, reclaim the throne, reclaim the throne, right? What throne are you talking about? It says David, David's throne. Who's just gonna sit on David's throne, right? Who's just gonna sit on David's throne, right? And then we read Daniel chapter seven. We understand that Yahuwah, Abba Yahuwah is giving Yahushua a everlasting reign and kingdom. And then when Yahushua was on earth, 
the mother said, hey, tell, uh, you know, uh, you know what, he asked her what he want, you know, what they want or everything. He said, tell you my son, he said, you're left and right. He said, that's not for me to give. That's for Abba Yahuwah. So once again, what throne are you talking about? Reclaim what throne? It's not talking about the kingdom of Yahuwah, right? We're going to find out what throne is talking about because you look at this picture. Who's sitting on the throne right here? So you think it's a game, but we're going to show you. These guys, Maurice Williams and Joshua, Joshua Cullings, they are being worshipped and deified in this place. Sounds of rebirth. Marching to Zion. And, and, and one thing I learned is you can, you can learn a lot if you watch the video with the music off. You can learn a lot, right? So you have this video. And once again, I'm just telling you, Maurice, he looked crazy, bro. He looked crazy. I know you're playing a role right now. I'm a director. I know that. But he looking crazy, right? And uh, so you have Stefan actually, because when we seen the video, it was like, oh, Stefan's in the video, right? And I guess he's playing the house, the house Negro, right? Um, now, one one of the things about this thing is, let's go right here. Let's go to this timestamp. So you have Maurice Williams coming in. He's supposed to be, you know, I don't know if he's supposed to be a savior or whatever. But um, he got this. He got this. Uh, look at this. Um, this 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 uh, staff he has. It's it's a uh, supposed to be um, DNA markers. I think you know they're trying to play off the 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 you know what do you call it? Jacob's ladder. That's what it's that's what it's representing. But you have this thing. Cause when I seen it, when I seen it, the ruach was stirring on me like. It's something about them jewels and, that, and and them two things they got on there. It's something, it's something about that. It's something about it. How it's set up. I say it look it look wicked. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I couldn't really. I don't know what it. I nothing came off my mind real fast. But I didn't you know know what it was right. So so you got him coming up coming up there and all of a sudden you know he's coming up regular right and then all of a sudden he he you know, he came to save the day, right? So he comes to save the day and they took over the house. They took over the house, but the strong, because this is very important. They took over the house, but the strong man is not bound. Yahushua said the only way you can bind, you could take over the house unless the strong man is bound first. But they took over the house, right? So you're going to show, I'm saying this, this video is going to show you spiritually what's happening in rebirth, right? So you got these women dancing, right? Which, it's very, uh, if you look at how they dance, it's very masculine. Very masculine, very masculine women spirits. Very masculine women spirits, right? Um, very masculine women spirits, right? And we're going to talk about him in a second. We're going to come back to him. Uh, this, this, this is a, a, a singer. So yeah, very mask, very masculine spirit. Hey, and matter of fact, and I knew what's very interesting. Let me pause on this because this, 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 this op that's playing the drums right here. I knew, I knew two. I knew, I knew one couple, him and his and his wife. You know, uh, a while back they was like, "Oh man, we got it." This is the phrase they keep saying too. That's what it's like. I said it's witchcraft, right? It's witches, the it witch witchcraft and sorcery that. They are getting and humbling people under the queen of heaven spirit. That's what they're doing. They're they humbling people. The, because people got the same phrase they say. A similar phrase. It, it, it's, it's, oh, we got to come underneath the order. Now, Briah said it. Stefan said it. This act right here said it. The order. So you saying that Yahuwah set, your, set Maurice Williams and Joshua Cullins up to be shepherds in Yashrael. That's what you got to say. You got to say because who don't do stuff out of order. So that's what you're saying. They come, everybody come under the order. But it's not the order of them particular. It's the it's the order of that demonic spirit because the demonic spirit that is ruling over that congregation is a feminine spirit 
that is the queen of heaven type of spirit. And we're going we gonna to bring that out, right? You got water spirits all throughout this, this whole this whole place. It's a den of demons, right? So this, I, I knew this, I knew this cat, you know, through online and stuff. And then all of a sudden, I thought he was, I thought he was cool. And he said, man, we got to come under the order. He wasn't doing music or he wasn't, you know, oh, he had this whole big change up. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Right? So that, that's one. So like I said, they, they, they dancing very masculine, right? But that's not the point I'm trying to get to. Point I'm trying to get to. They trying to take over. They said they take over the house. And then you have him come in here, right? You have him come up. Look at this. So now he got, he, he, he's sitting on the throne. Reclaim the throne. Reclaim the throne. Reclaim the throne. That's y'all king. That's y'all king. And y'all king got a covenant with the queen of heaven. Maurice Williams, he called himself Moshe. Uh, he he he's one of the he's one of the mighty ones there, right? So supposedly they took over the house, but like I said, you got him reclaiming the throne. It's all about him. That's what the crane throne is. Now, 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 what's interesting is Stefan. Now you have Stefan here. This is Stefan. This is Brit Yah's wife. Um, my bad. Um, husband. And um, they got the white dude right here, right? And so he's 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 here, and I'm not playing the video because I don't want to, I don't want nobody to flag it or nothing. And what happens is, moments later, the white dude gets away, right? And they kill Stefan, and the dude wakes up. Right? And the dude wakes up. Now, now play that back. <laughs> play back what just happened. They kill the brother, but the white dude get away. And it just sounds silly. It's like, okay, whatever. What you trying to say? They kill the brother. They kill their own brother. Right? This is Stephen. Stephen just came over there, right? And this, and this possibly could be prophet, prophetic. Right, this possibly could be prophetic, right? They kill their brother. And this is the spirit that's on this congregation. You see what they just did to him? This is what they've been perpetrating in the spirit. This is what they've been doing to households. This is what they've been doing to families. This is what they've been doing. They've been so rah-rah, so Yahuwah, so Yahusha, so oh, this spiritual stuff. But they let the white man ride. They let the JC ride. They call it the JC. You know what I'm saying? The JC. JC, i.e. Jesus Christ. That's the spirit over this congregation. They still in Christian. They still in. They still worse. They still worse off than. They worse off than Christianity. Because the scriptures say that these people left the church. And then a second estate is worse than the first one. So this state, this is this is state that they are in right here is worse than the first estate. So they kill their brothers, they kill their brothers, they kill their sisters, they hate their brothers, they hate their sisters. There's so many stories, if you go on my Facebook, there's so many stories of men and women and families and children and stuff that has happened of how they have hated people. But yet, the JC spirit gets to get away and is still the master of the house, right? is still the master of the house. So this video gives you an insight into what's happening. One, what we get from the video, one, we get that Morris is the whole time, that's who, that's who was reclaiming the throne. And the reclaiming the throne was Morris reclaiming the throne underneath, not, the, not anything to do with Yahuwah, but underneath the authority of the slave master JC, but JC is linked to the water spirit, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out about this water spirit. So they killing their brothers, and they got this guy on the throne, 
bringing in all the demons. The king of the demons. Whew. Right? Now. Now this is where it get this is where it get venture. So we're gonna be coming back to Malak, right? Now check this out. There go there there's Malak right here. This is what Malak looked like. So this is what Malak looked like. Right? Now, if you don't know, he's an artist. He's the same person that was in the video earlier that didn't confess Yahushua, right? Now, now here's something interesting too, because Yahuwah released that word to me, and then later, later, I actually seen this pop up on their uh their video they did. I never watched the video, but this popped up, preserving the holy seed. And it was just, it was, remember that Yahuwah, Yahuwah released that word to me way before this video. And then they put up this video, uh, preserving the Holy Seed. I thought that was uh, very interesting, right? Now, so you have Zimri, Zimri Yah, Z, uh, Zemir, right? That's, that's the single, right? Say it right here. This says, he is with Malak, Abba Yah, Saba Yahu. So Saba, Yahoo, that means they 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 have this weird thing where they where they are they are saying just like with this this sister Sadis right here, she's saying that she a daughter of Yahushua, right? And they try to call Yahuwah grandfather. It's weird. So they saying they you know is. Like I said, that's not the testimony, bro. That's not the testimony, right? Now, look at this quote. So, so you had this this singer Zimriya, right? And I might might be getting his name wrong. Zamir. He says, "This is crazy. This crazy. This prophetic Malak Abiya." So this this is a picture of them dancing. They did the, they did the rebirth experience and all that, and he and, and he drew a picture beforehand that is that Zamir is saying that this is prophetic straight from the book. So they saying that Malak has a prophetic spirit, uh, pro prophetic spirit to draw all the things he's drawing. But what is he drawing? Let's look at some things he's drawing. Let's look at some things he's drawing. Let's look at some things. All right, so if you look at this, there's some things he's drawing. Now, he's, he has a prophetic spirit now, right? Look at this. So you have this picture where you have, obviously up here you have Joshua Cullings and you have uh, Maurice Williams. And this is all their congregation right here. And they are being led into, what's this? Let's zoom in. Into a horn demon's house. House of demons. They are being led into, if you look at this thing. I mean, that's the first thing I, I, I thought about. It looks one of, like a, one of them anime demons. With the horns on it. And you're going to see this character a lot. Right? So Joshua Cullins. And Morris Williams. Is leading the people. Into. Molich. Into. This this house. This house of demons. Owned by this, this character right here. Now check this out. That's, now remember. Remember. He said his spirit is prophetic, right? Prophetic, being led into a house of demons. Now, look at this, look at this, look at this now. This next picture. So remember I told you, I said, I said. now this was before, when I, when I seen the video, I said, you know, uh, that, that thing on there is very significant. And I was just trusting Yahuwah that he would give me the interpretation of what these things are. And, 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 you know, so let's start at the bottom, right? If you notice at the bottom, you have this, 
Let's, what is this? This is a woman. Is this queen? Is this is this the queen of heaven? Oh, by the way, I got many comments right here of one of the ladies there, which everybody, a lot of people, is confessing that she's a witch. And they call her Queen Mother. Queen Mother. Queen Mother. Queen Mother. I remember somebody told me that uh they was um you know in prayer, they 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 lift her up to the sky and giving reverence and praise to her. <laughs> but it makes sense. Because they are worshiping now. When we say now, particularly, we're gonna get into this thing. It, it's it's a mighty one called uh, Mami Wata, right? And that particular spirit is an African type of spirit, but it's the African it's the African deity of kind of you know uh, Ishtar and you know Ashtaroth and all this stuff. I mean, it's it's so crazy because Israel is has went back to. You know, I mean, we read Elijah. We read them coming out of the wilderness and all that stuff. They literally went back here. They literally have gone back here. May who destroy their ministry? Yahushua Shem. So you have the queen of heaven right here at the bottom. You have all these spirits. Look, and look, look at the spirits beside them. They worshiping her. Cause they ain't holding up nothing. They worshiping her. And then you got two spirits behind her worshiping her. So this is the, this is at the bottom too. So this is the foundation. So if you want to know what is the foundation of Hebrew nation building, the foundation is the queen of heaven. You see it. She's being worshiped right here. And I'm not talking about that. The, the woman they saying is the queen of heaven. They using her as a portal, right? They using her as a, as a portal, but they are worshiping the same spirit. Israel was worshiping in the wilderness, the queen of heaven. They going by many names, Babel. So you got all these people hold, holding, holding, holding the next people up. And then they holding up. Now look, this is the next level now. The next level, you got these giants. You got these giants. And this looks really Egyptian, too. It looks really Egyptian. Um, looks really Egyptian. Uh, especially these wings. These wings look Egyptian. And guess who you got at the top? You guessed it. Maurice and Joshua Cullens, who call himself Yahushua. You got them at the top. And then you got that jewel again that was on that stick. You got that jewel again that was on that stick. And I believe that's some kind of that's some kind of demonic, you know, uh portal gateway because this actually looks like this act the first thing I seen when I seen with it, and I, I don't want to get vulgar with y'all, man, but it looks like a a, a, a a vagina opening. Because remember, I told you there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of um, homosexual spirits that are in that place, right? And which we're gonna talk about that in a second, because they're like that. There's, there's a lot of testimonies, bro. Like I said, people got more people got <laughs> people done been there, so they know they know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving I'm just sharing with you what Yahuwah gave to me, right? But drop it in the comments. Drop what you you know in the comments, so this can be a record. But you got the two people up. You got the two leaders being worshipped. They being held up by the queen of heaven. That's the powers. That's that's their power structure. You looking at their power structure. Queen of heaven on the bottom. Right? But then she's still on the top too. Because you got you got the you got the vagina. That's why you have people do the onk stuff. Because that's what that, that's what it's leading to. And this right here is their that little diamond situation. That's that's the portal. That's part of the portal situation. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the link between heaven and their assembly. Cause cause look right beside it, right beside it with the with the guy on the right, he's holding the staff. 
But right there, going back to that video, that's their power structure. Mommy Watson. Now look at this picture. Right? You got the two people. They're supposed to be couples. They're supposed to be together. Right? They got the, supposed to have the, what's this supposed to be? Uh, Jacob's Ladder. Remember, that's the same thing. Remember. Oh! It just hit me. Hallelujah. Check it out. Wow. So you have this couple, right? They're supposed to be Jacob Ladder. Now remember, this whole Jacob Ladder thing was in their, uh, in the video, Morris is holding that thing, right? He's holding that 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 staff. But look what's at the top. They're giving a child to the son. This ain't no, this is a son. You don't see the rays? They're giving a child to Molich. Do you see this? This is what's happening. This is what's happening in the assembly. They are giving their child to Baal, to Nimrod, to the dragon. Look. And oh, that's what hit me is see how see how you have this this this, this stick right here. You have this 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 supposed to be um Jacob's ladder thing, right? Now check it though. But what's at the top? It's the sun. So if we go back here and look at the other picture with this diamond, with the other picture. That diamond represents the sun. S-U-N. Which is the Baal. The sun god. That's who they're giving their children. So they so they so not only are they worshiping the queen of heaven, they're giving their children. Because you you think that you 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 thought that because people ain't putting their children in the fire no more, that's over with. That's done. You think because they ain't sacrificing and drinking the blood of the uh, of the baby and putting it in the putting in the furnace and all that stuff that it's over with? They showing you right here. Both of them doing it. The whole couples is doing it. That's what they are doing. They giving their children. This is what they doing. Remember when Yahuwah took Ezekiel in there? He said, "Let me show you what they doing." This this is what Yahuwah is doing for us. He said, "Let me show you what they doing, bro." They giving their children to the Son, mighty one. Blindly, too, because they're looking at each other and they're giving it away. Ignorantly. This is terrible, bro. Look at this picture. Look at this. You don't see this? The reflection off of the water. These are water spirits. These are the demons that they are summoning when they're doing that worship, war, worship, People talking about that, sisters talking about that. Thank you for all, thank you for all the people that have uh, submitted information and sent information on the threads. Look at this; these are water spirits. You don't see the reflection? You don't see the waves going off this? This is what Malak is 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 on. That's that's what he 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 is being uh, uh, ruled by, and that's what this assembly is being ruled by. Water spirits. Three water spirits right there. Three water spirits. Look at this. There you go, the sun again. There goes that sun again. And then I have this sword. I was asking about you who about this. This is as as above, so below. Right? That's the Alice Crawley stuff. Right? And then you have this three headed, three headed beast. Right here, you had these female lions around, and you have him giving himself up, worshiping the sun. Look at this. He's worshiping the sun. S U N. Baal. Baal worship, man. Woo! There you go again. Let me show you this again. So remember, I told you about that that demon that there was. There was the two people was bringing him in. There it goes again. Same demon. Right? Same demon. The horns and everything. He's showing you. This ain't Yahushi. This ain't Yahuwah. Who is this? Who is this with the people around looking at it? This ain't Yahushi. It's terrible.
terrible, bro. Reclaim what throne? Oh, I see. They want to take Israel back to Queen of Heaven worship. That's why the devil is using them to bring people back to the Queen of Heaven worship. And he's the person to do it. Reclaim the throne. That's the demon saying that it wants to reclaim the throne in Israel's hearts. Ain't got nothing to do with Yahuwah. They use Yahuwah as a front to deceive people. They use Yahuwah as a front. Yahuwah don't know them. Look, he said, look, 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 look. Look at what Yahuwah is saying right here. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 17. And he said to me, Have you seen, O son of man, is it a small matter to the house of Yahshua, uh, Yehuda to do these abominations what they, they have done here? But they have filled the land with violence and turned to provoke me. And see, they are putting a branch to my nose. Therefore, I shall indeed deal in wrath. My eyes shall not pardon, nor shall I what I spare. For they shall cry in my ears with a loud voice, but I shall not hear them. They was weeping for Talmuds. They're summoning demons. They're summoning Mommy Water. They're summoning all them water spirits you saw in the thing. That's what they summoning. Uh, now, because the sister told me, matter of fact, I'm about to read some testimonies in a second. But the sister told me that when they start doing this, 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 this warship, right? And what I was, when I was thinking about it, I said, "Who? What is this?" And he brought to my mind Sage. I said, "Sage." I said, "Yeah," because you know you got people that they think they about to do some sage and get rid of some demons, when it's actually attracting the demons. So they're not fighting demons. They're actually attracting demons. And then I heard when when the demons show up and start to manifest, they're telling everybody to bow to the demons. It's a house of demons, bro. If you in there, you getting this message, bro, and you can still, you still got 1% of belief in Yahushua. S save your life, bro. And run and cling to Yahushua, right? Cling to Yahushua, he'll help you. Don't be intimidated. Hey, you can write in the comments too. You've been watching this video, you can write in the comments. Write what you want to write, man. Yahuwah's face is against them. Yahuwah's face is against Morris Williams. Yahuwah's face is against Joshua Cullens. You, by, I'm, by name, Yahuwah's face is against all the leaders there. And everyone who will hear the message of truth of Yahushua to repent and believe in the good news who refuse to repent that word in Revelations that y'all want to suffer Jezebel y'all want to suffer the queen of heaven y'all want to suffer that woman to call herself queen mother y'all want to suffer them perverted spirits there guess what you're going to die You're gonna die, you're gonna die twice. You're gonna die twice. Now, I mean, once again, man, uh shout out to all the beautiful sisters and, and brothers, man, that uh have uh sent stuff on my Facebook information, man. But once again, y'all been involved, y'all been intimate in those situations. Y'all know what's up. Please use this video as a record to drop in the comments your stories things that have happened and uh and let this just be a beginning of people coming out because i've heard things that they threaten people you know trying to put their hands on people and um testimonies and witness after witness after witness i mean i'm on my facebook now i'm about to you know share some stuff but uh it's a lot and also, because of one sister, now it's now once again, just like you seen with Malak, Abba Yah, there, there's a lot of homosexual spirits that are attracted to that place. 
right? You got the other spirit that they're malak. But then you got other spirits that are there. Let, let me let me find this. If you look at this article right here, they had a sexual predator. And in this article, it names, it names a rebirth. So they didn't even know, they didn't even know, they, they warning the spirit, doing all this spiritual stuff. And how they don't know a sexual predator <laughs> entered their place. But that's the spirit of perversion because it's a house of demons. But check this out. I mean, it's 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 a lot of comments, bro. Let me see. I'm gonna go through some, I'm gonna go through some ones that we're able to go through. Because people hit me up. You know, one person said there are several stories of wickedness inside their ranks. Um, person said they had a first-hand witness of some of these things. Right? One person said there's um, pedophilia going on. Right? Because uh, they had a guy in the pedophilia and he was a leader. He was a leader. They had a pedophile as a leader. Queen Mother is a witch, a den of wizards, witches, and warlocks. And if I'm not saying your name on there because, you know, I, I, I respect, um, you know, if, if I, I may have not got permission yet at the point, so I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. I and mean, some people I got permission to, to, to share some information. But it's a lot, man. If you on my Facebook, you, you, you'll see it, man. It's, whoo, bro. Bro, Monarch said he knew it was going to happen. This one sister said that they destroyed her family and friendships. Um, Yahoo exposed one of the leaders that was uh, stealing money and get, because where selfish ambition is. Where selfish ambition is, you just saw Morris said he the one that's reclaiming the throne for Israel to be under the queen of heaven to get the people back to worship. They using the version of Mami Wata, but they trying to get people to worship Estar. Babel, the great whore. You understand? You understand what's happening? Do you understand? You understand how does you how does make Yahuwah feel? How does make Yahushua Hamashiach feel? You gotta get sealed in the good news, man. You gotta get sealed in the good. You gotta your 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 life mission gotta be to find out who is Yahushua Hamashiach. All this spiritual stuff, all the Enoch, all the book of Enoch, all this stuff. Who is Yahushua Hamashiach? You gotta find out. You gotta know. You gotta know him, cause you you know you you may know him in your mind, like by the by the scriptures, but I'm talking about him revealing himself to you, like he revealed he was revealed to Kepha by the Father. That he is the Mashiach and the bond of the living Allah. Because you have people out here, and the only way you're going to be able to tell if they have the truth or not, by their confession, by their fruits. Because when the dude confess that Yahushua was the father, you got to understand, if you're saying Yahushua is the father, you're saying that there ain't no son of Allah. That's what you're saying. Because if he's his own father, don't 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 say, oh well, well, uh, uh, it's just too deep for us to know, bro. He told you he got a father. He said it. He ain't play no games with you. He didn't say, yeah, because I'm in the flesh. I'm actually a lower version of myself, and that's actually and I, I'm actually myself that I'm praying to in the heavens because I'm a I'm a lower version of myself and da 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 da. Bro, don't play games with Yahuwah, bro. 
believe the testimony that he's given concerning his bond. The brought forth one. In the beginning, Alua, Bara, the Aleph, and Ta, the firstborn of all creation. Through him and by him, all things were created. You got you to gotta get sealed in the good news. Because this deception light. It's the beginning of the sixth day. Imagine when they, you know, I heard they was trying to levitate in there and all this kind of stuff. Bro, it's going to get turned up. You got to know who, you, who she is. You got to know who's who. You got to know the difference between the spirit of the anti-Mashiach and the spirit of Yahushua. And the only difference that you're going to know. I mean, you're going to see. I mean, there's going to be other stuff. Like I say, as witness. But what I'm saying is people going to get more deceptive. They're going to they, they get more deceptive. But, the, but what, how are you going to know the truth? Right? Is that the father has to reveal the truth. Because Yahushua told Kepha, he said, flesh and blood has not revealed it to you, but my father in the heavens. You have to know who Yahushua is. You got to know the good news. She said, thank Yahuwah that she was kicked out. They called her a witch and all type of lies. Caused a lot of hurt in her marriage. Yahuwah is mending her. I'm, I'm paraphrasing because I'm not reading word for word. Her friend is still a first student. Okay. Um, they destroyed her marriage. Friendships. Um... What else? Like I said, put your comments in there, bro. People been kicked out. They spoke so bad. I've been. I heard that multiple times that people, uh, a sister and 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 I, you know, they talked about it. Um. They were they were, uh, talked so badly about. I'm hearing this thing over and over. And it's that it's what we seen in that video. What did you see in the video? They killing their brothers. Remember, Yahushua said, if you hate your brother, you a murderer. You just saw it. They let the white man go free and they murdered their brother. Look, the, if, if the buddy was a house Negro, they could have said, hey, man, come, come, come with us, bro. Come with us. You know what I'm saying? They could have they could have reasoned with him. But nah, they killed him. They killed their brother, bro. They thought they was better and they wasn't no better. What's happening? They killing their brothers, bro. Look. Said she was kicked out. Because uh, people wouldn't pay their dues. And didn't have enough money. It's the testimony they saying. Right? Gonna, she said, you're going to expose him. And he is. Right? Go on my Facebook, man. It's public. It's public, but I still end up putting people's names out because like I said, some names I didn't get I didn't get full permission yet. So but you can go in there and see it for yourself. Um It's all there. It's all there, bro. It's all there. Sister right here. Naya. She was a first hand witness of the wickedness of the assembly. I moved states to be a part of the ministry, and it was very damaging to her spirit. She was lied on multiple times, major major corruption, gossip, false leaders placed in roles, witchcraft, manipulation by the mores, um, even spoke curses. I've heard that multiple times that they speak false false words over people. Speaking curses over the people. Um, Yahuwah's going to destroy that ministry, bro. And if Yahuwah let that, if Yahuwah let it go on any further, he's testing the people. But the very fact that Yahuwah's moving to expose them, he's going to shut it down, bro. And everybody that's going to be there, that want to stay there, they're going to die. They're going to die twice. You're going to die twice. You're going to die twice. The second death ain't no joke. The second death ain't no joke. Because these people are these people hate Yahuwah. 
They hate Yahushua. They hate him. He's going to, and Yahuwah said, everyone that hates him, he's going to repay them to their face. Because they refuse to repent. Right? Oh, man. Demons manifested. Demons are manifesting in uh, the warship. But they are really summoning demons. Right? Um, people are verifying the stories. Other people are hopping on, verifying the stories. Um, I say, man, don't let don't let them intimidate you. Don't let them spirits. Because here's the thing: in Yeh Yehusha said, as you receive Yehusha to be your old master, to believe who he is, believe upon his name, his ruach. Cling to him. Repent from your sins. He shall give you the gift of the Ruach HaKodesh to give you authority over, I don't care if it's a water spirit. He said, I give, him, I give you the keys to the kingdom. Right? Then he said, I think it's Luke. He said that, um, that you'll, be, you'll be able to tread on serpents over scorpions and over, um, he gives you authority over all the power of the enemy. So this intimidation, this fear, hey, you can write it in the comments. You can, you, you, you can share your story. Uh, let this be a record and a witness um, because I want, we, we need it out in the open space. We need it out in the open space. I remember when I was looking for this, for this information, it was hard to even find information. Like it's so many stories but it's not a lot of information about it. And so, uh, so yeah, that's one thing. I uh, mean, so many, so many stories, man. They putting witchcraft on people. Shouts out to the sisters and the ox that are sharing this information on the blog, on my Facebook. Shout out. People have literally been cut with them swords they be trying to do. Bleeding from the swords. It's crazy, bro. It's demonic, bro. So, I mean, you've seen a lot, man. And people come in here, y'all gonna they're going to release some more. House of Demons, bro. House of Demons, you have seen it for yourself and you ain't even seen you ain't even seen all of it. <laughs> you ain't even seen all of it. Cuz I want my sisters and brothers y'all come on here and share some of this information that y'all got, these stories y'all got. Um these people false, bro. These people false. Whew. So, I mean, it's more because we'll be here all day. But the fact of the matter is, is that the judgment has came to the to the house of Yisrael. Judgment has came, and whatever you who is gonna do, he's gonna do. But this word is going out that y'all better repent and run, cause y'all playing games. Y'all playing games with the name of Yahuwah. Y'all having Yahushua in y'all mouth. And y'all hate him. <sighs> Yahuwah is compassionate, man. Yahuwah is compassionate, man. But if you try to, if you play him as a fool, you try to play him as a chump, you try to play Yahushua as a chump, they said the whole earth shook. Because of his presence. It would flee because of his presence was coming. You're playing games, man. So my, my encouragement, man, is to, number one, write write those comments in there. Pass this video along. Share it. Hebrew Nation building. Rebirth.
is a house of demons. They worshiping the queen of heaven. That's evident. I don't keep out here too long. And who is calling? If there's one soul in there that can repent and turn from that wickedness, turn. But the rest, Yahuwah, Yahuwah said he gonna slay. He gonna because y'all suffering Jezebel. He gonna he gonna he gonna do the thing. He gonna do the thing. He gonna come at y'all. That word that word still stand. Revelations, Revelation, and, uh, and and my 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 prayer is that if you have if you have come out of rebirth. Uh, my prayer is that you you evaluate why you were attracted to rebirth in the first place because I believe that from the inception that you know and this like I said I've heard different stories where it started off good but but personally um, just just not particularly this matter but just certain things when it comes to ministry is you who cause cause. He calls certain people and he does a thorough job. And sometimes, you know, he doesn't approve of people that he doesn't approve of. And so when a leader is said that they're a leader and they are to lead, lead the, sh the, 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 the sheep, um, Yahuwah, he doesn't want to look, you know, Yahuwah ain't going to look crazy for nobody. You know, so I believe that those leaders was never was never risen up. That Yahuwah was never with them. And so I would say that people that if you coming out of there is to evaluate why you were attracted to there in the first place. And then also I would encourage you to um to just really build and submit to Yahushua and 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 ask Yahuwah to um, teach you um, about His bond and ask Yahushua to teach you to learn His voice. Uh, ask Yahuwah to teach you about His bond, who He is, that you will be able to. Uh, from experience, from the Ruach, be able to separate the spirit of the anti-Mashiach versus the spirit of Yahushua. And be able to do that through the Ruach HaKodesh. So that's my encouragement. The scriptures say it all. I don't have to go in and say more than the scripture. Is Yahuwah is going, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Yahuwah said he gave them time to repent. He gave them time. But he's going to uproot them. Every tree that Yahuwah has not planted will be uprooted. Every tree. Nothing done in the dark will not be brought to light. Because there's more stuff. There's more stuff. I'm sure uh, there's more stuff. Right? But may y'all share this video. May, may you, may you uh, if you've been under that spirit of intimidation and fear, from what you think they can do, you lean on Yahushua and you take authority in Yahushua to come against those spirits. Do not let them intimidate you. Do not let them put you in fear, right? You walk in boldness of Yahushua HaMashiach. Understand the good news. Understand who Yahushua is. And repent as well. And speak against those spirits. Post it on your Facebook. Share this video. Share your testimony. Right? Bring other people. You know other people that went through the same thing? Y'all put more videos out there. Put a record out there. Share your testimony. Put it on it. Put it on YouTube. Right? Like what I'm saying is, it's the time. Judgment has come to Hebrew nation building. It has come. It has come. You are being exposed. Right. And if you want to continue to do what you're doing, well, you're just going to have to deal with Yahuwah. And then because he's putting the call out and then when you call out, guess what? He ain't going to hear you. Because he stretched out his hand all day to rebellious people. <sighs> uh, 
Oh, man. Doing the same thing. Yashrael doing the same thing that they've done in the past. Oh man, it's just it's it's tough. It's tough, bro. I'm, I'm gonna get I'm getting off here. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough, man. I mean, Yahusha, Abba Yahuwah sent his bond. Yahusha came. He didn't have to give his life. He gave his life for us to fellowship, to us to be back in the family, right? To us to return to be cleansed and this is how the children of Yahuwah repay him it's not everybody it's just you know because we're talking about an assembly but it's, it's just terrible man it's terrible but we know stumbling blocks how to come but woe to those who are stumbling blocks it would have been better if you weren't born. And I pray for the children. I pray for the young children, the babes. And Yahushua, this is a prayer. That you'll be baruched. And that those who would see rebirth, who do not know nothing about it, will come to this video or will hear a testimony or would be warned in the Ruach HaGudesh to flee. I pray those who, who are straying from Yahushua are straying from Yahushua and entering a place where they are no longer hearing the voice of Yahuwah through his bond that Yahuwah would tap them on the shoulder continue to tap them tap them on the shoulder to block them from getting to this ministry I pray this ministry dies in Yahushua HaMashiach name I pray it withers up I pray it's set aside to be burned and destroyed and that those who d who do not leave Babel, the word says, come out of her, my people. And I heard another voice from the heavens saying, come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins, lest you receive her plagues, because her sins have piled up to reach the heavens. And the Lord has remembered her unrighteousness. He's remembered. He's remembered the households. He's remembered the people who, are, who have lost faith. Because these cowards. These cowards. Have made a covenant. With the queen of heaven. It said render. To her as much as she indeed did render. And repay her double. According to her works. In the cup which she has mixed. Mixed for her. Double. As much as she. Esteemed herself as much as. Hebrew Nation Building, Maurice Williams, Joshua Cullens, all the, all the so-called mores, as much as they have esteemed themselves and lived riotously, as much, so much torture and grieve and give to her. Because in her heart, she says, I said as a sovereignist, I said as a queen, you saw it. What did it say? Reclaim the throne. Look at it. Revelation 18, 7. I'm not a widow. I do not see mourning at all. Because of this, her plague shall come upon her in one day. Death, mourning, scarcity of food. And she shall burn up with fire. Why? Because Yahuwah Allure, who 
who judges her is mighty. So y'all don't be afraid. Y'all don't be intimidated. Yahuwah who judges is mighty. And he's going to be known. And Yahushua is going to be known to be sovereign. To be sovereign. Elua says there is no other savior but him. And when he speaks that, when Abba Yahuwah speaks that, he is speaking uh, through his bond. And him and his bond are a cod. They are, they are cod speaking that. Because Abba Yahuwah has sent his bond to give life. And those who refuse the blood of Yahushua, those who play with him, those who think that he's some joke, they want to they want to move the goalposts, saying he ain't the bond of Alua, saying he the Father, saying he the Trinity. You're in a world of trouble. You're in a world of trouble. So I think that word right there ends ends and concludes this. Uh, this message, and like I said, write your comments, write your things on there. I know the video was long, but praise you, whoever we got through it, we finished it, and uh, yeah, and uh, share it, um, spin it, share it, message, message it. If you're my friend on Facebook, you can go see the threads and see more stories, more stories. Thank you once again for all the people who have shared stories. Share your story here as well. That way it can be public record. That way, you know, if I didn't get your permission to share, say your name or anything, that you can share that um, on there. And understand, man, that Yahuwah is against... If, 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 if you stepping on the side of Yahushua, Yahuwah is against them. So it's nothing, it's nothing to be uh, uh, afraid about, whether physically or spiritually. Like... You know, ask Yahuwah to set you free from any type of intimidation and fear that they have maybe have projected on you, may have put a, 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 a you know, some kind of spell on you. Like, nah, get free, get free, get free. Repent from hearing these people's voices. Get free. Yahushua will set you free, man. You know, he will set you free, man. So we out of here. Like I said, hey, also, also, man, um, like I said, my email, if you want to reach out to me, my email, Dennis Delamar, um, at Gmail. Hey, if, if, if that means, you know, and you can reach out to me if you have a story you want to uh, share. And uh, but like I said, you can share it on the comments. But if you want to talk about the situation, if you're still going through the situation, you still there and you're trying to get out uh, or if you need just prayer or whatever, um, you know, re you can reach out to me. You can email me. We can talk. We can hit it up, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But hallelujah, man. Um, praise Yahuwah and praise Yahushua HaMashiach. And we just give thanks that... Um, That Yahuwah has made this matter known. He has made this uh, matter known to his children, um, who desire to 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 love him, right? And uh, we just pray for Yisrael that all the high places, all the places of um, ancient uh, worship. Uh, of of the Queen of Heaven and all the, the the forms and trickery because the devil just he 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 keep flipping and he keep changing it up he keep you know trying to do something new and try to deceive the people that all, let it all be exposed let every rock be flipped over let all the high places be burnt let all the imposters be exposed and let Yahuwah and his bond reign supreme. Yahushua HaMashiach name. Hallelujah.